Hi guys, welcome to the next lesson of unwrapping. We have worked out on this model last week. This week we'll try to unwrap it as per our requirements. Okay. Before unwrapping, there are certain things which we need to assess and analyze. So check the last images which we have used to follow and make this model. If you study this model, you can see this is the area where we put some texture, but whereas all over the part is a flat black color with some grainy effect. So it's just not much of things are happening. But there are certain areas where you can create some text. There's a text here where you can put some text and you can put some pump up map here, here, here. So but on the overall, except one and two models, you don't need a proper formed layout you will layout you can just unwrap it but whereas there are two objects where you have to focus more so that you can lay out properly so that you can take it in back into photoshop and put some textures so if you come back to maya i'll just first separate it this model and this model are the two objects which will put some text or some bump effects or normal effects but other than that everything will be flat texture a grainy texture black grainy texture okay so i'll drag it these are the first these are the main uh, uh, regular models which we have to unwrap it first because they we don't have to follow any certain rules in laying it properly as per aligning aspect we just we need to unwrap it as per the requirements okay so i'll select these models you can go back to windows outliner move it from this layout or else go to edit unparent now put it in a new layer i just hide it now here these are the objects which we need to unwrap it now go to uv which is in modeling UV editor. I'll try to scale it properly. Like this. Now, first thing I'll unfold is let's take this one. This is a flat tech model mesh modify center pivot. If you check here, this is a flat one which is pointing towards x axis. So go to UV. Planar mapping, option box, it's pointing towards x axis. So I'll just check it x axis, apply. Now UVs, move it side, or else you can just scale it down. You should always put it in this one is to one dark layout, okay? <clears throat> now scale it down. Now drag and select this UVs because if you check here, there is certain other mesh is there which is like this face if you check here it's like a straight line so you need to drag and select the uvs go to polygons unfold option here see that you got this unfold open option if you don't have this option go to windows setting preferences plugin manager Scroll down. Can you see unfold3d.mlr? See that both these options are ticked down, checked down. Okay, is it clear? Now with unfold, just apply. Now I'll rotate it and put it here. Let's take if you want to put some text, you can put here. If you select this face, can you see it's flat? flat. So if you want, you can put some text here on this object. Okay, now, now let's get back here. Next one is this one. If you check this model, center pivot, it's pointing towards Z axis. 95% of this mesh is flat and that too pointing towards Z axis. So we can easily go up to planar mapping set access apply close it once it is done 
UV layout because there are a lot of other surfaces there on the back side. We need to unfold it. So select the UVs, unfold option, apply. Done. Scale it. I always scale it small and put it here because they are not a very dominating objects as per the whole big mesh is concerned so we are just putting it so you can see next thing is we'll try to unfold we have unfolded these two we'll unfold this one This is not like a flat like this. It has got some cylindrical effect. So I'll have bad. I'll apply cylindrical map. Just apply cylindrical mapping. You get something like this. So right now, this is wrong. So if you go to Windows, cylindrical options, you don't have any options here. Okay? So we can't do anything in the options box. So just apply. And if you turn it here, you can see a red like a T icon can you see it's, it's a transform icon so if you click on this icon you can see the transform tools so click on circle because circle is for rotation and then rotate it 90 degrees in X axis once it is done you can click back the transform Okay, you can see this icon. Now you need to cover the whole area. How can you cover it? Any red small box, center box, you can click on it and hold it. Okay, once it is done, you can see some problem here. Subtle problem, very small. The top one we can remove. Now, any red circle center, if you rotate it, you can rectify it. Can you see? It's rectified, that's fine. But here, I got some problem at this point. That is because of these faces, the front faces. You can see. So that's why I just select that faces. Planar mapping. Z axis. Apply. Done. UVs. Once again, unfold it. So right now, because if you see here, it is a lot of variation in the size. Here, this this is very small compared to this size. This is a bit bigger and this is totally small. So that's why when you unfold it, based on the size, it will change. Okay? But that's fine because it's just a flat texture we are going to apply. That's fine. That is a grainy texture or something. Now select this one. Just put it down. So we are done. Three models I'm going to shallow. I'm just putting it one by one. Then I can lay it open. Now the next thing is this model. This model is not a cylinder. <laughs> Or flat like planar but it is it's cylinder but turned and twisted and all the things is done so the best option for this one is just go to UV you can't apply cylindrical mapping because it's not a proper cylinder straight because you got see a curve and all things and you don't you will not want to apply planar the best option for this one is automatic map and if you select the shell you can see the shell And these are this edges, these faces. Okay. Now the logic is if you drag and select this edges, okay, drag and select this edges. If you don't want to select this one, hold control and deselect this edges. Go to polygons, cut it. If you cut it, each will have a like a single shell. Now Edge, drag and select this edges, polygons, move and save. See it's stitched, can you see they are coming 
Now if you drag and select it, move and sew, or you can click on this icon if you move here. If you don't see it here, you need to open this option box, click on here. Now everything is here. But right now if you drag and select it and apply, you'll get a weird shape. So be careful, you need to know where to stop. So I'll drag everything and then hold control and deselect the second surface. Click on hold. Now, if you want to stitch these two edges, you can select these two edges and stitch it. Sure. Now we have unfolded this four models. Now we are left with this one, this one, and this one. This four more. Now select this one. What is this model? It has got some flat, it has got some cylinder and all things. So you know if it's a bit different shape, go for automatic map. Now shell. I'm rotating it down. This is the other shell. And now I'll drag and select all these edges and control deselect the edges which is linked to this surface, uh, this big shapes, and cut it. Once you cut it, you can drag and select these edges and stitch it. Drag and select these edges, deselect the edges which are not needed and stitch it. Now this is proper shell. This is one more shell. Now we got this faces. So you can select this edges like this, stitch it. G, 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 done. Now rotate it. Now shell. Once again, put it here. Now we got a couple of more objects. Then we are done with the small object. Now select this one. This is a simple like a box. I'll just use automatic mapping. Shell. Shell. Now if I drag and select this edges, you need to be very careful. Don't drag and everything. Just selecting this edges. Can you see? And then move on to. Now drag and select this edges. Can you see? Move and sew. Move and sew. Move and sew. Now, your waist. Unfold it. Scale it down. Put it somewhere. Now we are left with these two objects. <clears throat> Select this one. Modify, center pivot. When I'm working, if you see here, it's flat here, it's flat here, except the sides. And now the next thing is, I want to just work only on this surface. So I can select this surface. If you click on this icon, this is called isolate select. Means you can work only on this face. See here, we don't want these faces. Okay, you can delete it. Why? If you click on it back, See, we can't see. So if we don't need it, we can delete it. Now once it is deleted, once again, automatic mapping, we can start with automatic mapping. If you don't like it, we can just say undo and get back into the other mapping strategies. So go, automatic mapping, shell, rotate it. This is the shell. So we got these two shells. Now here, you can take any one shell, okay? This is the shells which are, you can easily see they are linked here. So if I drag and select this edges, can you see? Then stitch it, stitch it. 
now we got a couple of other edges two are here so you can come and select these two edges move and save move and sell then select the shell move and sign so this one you can cleanly see select this edges stitch it stitch it once it is done you got a very powerful tool called unfold it's done but you can select this edges stitch it g g g once again unfold it okay this is done and you can clearly understand how it works now now scale it down now next thing is I click on this icon so that I can we can get it back here now this one I want all these faces as one surface okay and all these faces as one surface and as one UV layer but let's check it out with automatic mapping now come back here shell if you select the shell it's we got something like this they're attached so I just double click this edge shift double click cut once I cut it I can move it here now drag and select this edges you know and try to stitch it let's see what happens yeah, we got this one now something should be yeah it's here So if I select the shell, okay, we'll leave it. If we don't want it, we can add it. Now we want this one. This is here. Drag and select this. Yeah, oh, stitch it. Stitch it. Stitch it. This is one shell. Now select the shell, rotate it. If it's this is a shell, let's come back here, stitch it. See, this should go a little bit round. Now select this edge, stitch it. Shell, can you see? It's nearly done. Now this one. You can stitch it anywhere here. So this one, stitch it. Stitch here. Now you know this surface is somewhere here. If you want it, you can just cut it and put it here. But you can just leave it because once again, it's a flat texture and all this stuff. So now, shall look this one move it here. Now what I do is I'll select the faces like this and deselect these faces. So right now I selected this front faces and I know it's pointing negative direction of z-axis that's fine. So go to UV, planar mapping, z-axis, apply, and scale it down, done. So if I select the whole shells which are properly unfolded, these are things. Now select this one move it move it okay this one now try to we'll try to stitch it here see this shell is here but if I stitch it here we'll see some weird problem you can see it will stretch so we'll leave it we'll leave it we don't want it to stretch next thing is this shell you can choose any one edge see it's here and 
stitch it stitch it here so once here stitch it okay that's fine now this shell you can select this edge it's here you can select this edge any one edge which is not affected now we are nearly done there are certain faces are there which you can see here so face and we know they are flat in z-axis so just say flat planar mapping in z-axis So U is unfold it. Unfold option. Okay. We just leave it. Now if you select everything, this is what I got it. So zoom in. So I'll try to move it one side here. Can you see I'm trying to rotate it? Place it here. Because I don't want to waste the space on this one. No. I could have just selected this one. Put it here. Put it here. This is fine. Now this one it's like this one this is a little bit bigger so so you clearly know this is linked to the front surface and this is linked to that small <laughs> so put it here this is linked to that This is the trigger thing. This one I loaded it. Now, if I can select this shell, we should have selected each and everything. Can you see? Once it is done, now we'll start unfolding these two models. They are bit, they look a bit complicated, but that's straightforward also. Okay, that's fine. Now first we'll work on this one. So isolate it. If you check here, it's flat. You can you can easily sense that this is by all this different objects unwrapped you know this is a flat man we can just go for a planar one we'll test it how it looks in automatic mapping oh. <laughs> so it's totally wrong so undo it now face drag and select these faces and deselect all the faces so that you can select only this front one this area planar mapping x-axis apply move it side then select these spaces planar mapping move it side now the remaining are a flat surfaces I can just select that faces just that faces and automatic mapping Okay, now what I'll do is that I select this shell, move it up. Now I'll try to rotate it like this. Uh, can you see this shell should? I'm just organizing it because I'm not interested in stitching and all the stuff. Now if I drag 
this is done now where is this shell so shell come here shell so select the shell move it here I'm just moving all my shells to one side okay now we'll start stitching with this one because I don't want to stitch with the top one I'll, I'll start with this side so select this one sew G G G G down once again I'll put it somewhere here then I'll start stitching with this one so select this one move it side move it side move it side now this one now I don't want this side this side because if I stitch it it will go up Placing it here. Now we'll come back here. Shell, shell, shell. Once again, select this edge. Move and sell. J. This is the other shell. We got something like this. See, if you select these faces or shells, you can cleanly see the other things. So I can just select this shell, move and sew. This is done. Oh, there's one more you see. If you see it, these are very flat. You can because then you can put some text here. Now, if you select this one, drag and select these edges. You know, these edges. More and so, more and so. Done. Let's take, oh, no, I don't want this one, so I don't undo. Select this edge here, cut it. I want to stitch with this edge here. Once. Okay. Now, select this shell. They're not proper. Then you can say, oh, Ram, how are you saying it's not proper? Just click on this icon. You can you see there's a texture icon? Here. They're not perfect cubes. Can you see? They, they look like a bit rectangle. So what I lose, select this UVs. I'm not selecting anything. I'm just selecting this UVs. Unfold options. Unfold it. Okay. Now, if I click on checker, can I see? Now they look proper. But when I apply that one, if I turn this thing, this looks perfect, but this is something which gone a bit weird. So I can just select this UVs. I'll turn it a little bit down. Okay, for the time being. You can work it out you can clean it up and also because we are not we are this is a totally a very basic basic unwrapping lesson so we'll stick to it now shall i'll mirror it so that now move it here i 
that laid down. I'm trying to put it so that we'll not waste any space. Now, you wish. I'll put for the timing, I'll put it here, okay? Once we are done with the next object. Okay, once we are done with this object, then we can start placing it in one layout. Now this one, it looks so confusing, no? <laughs> it's straightforward, one second. Apply automatic mapping. Once you apply automatic mapping, You'll get some idea. Now, shell, or else you can drag this shells. Can you see here? Move it side. Okay, now. With a shell selected, move on cell. Move on. Okay, always unfold it so that you get this clear. Okay, now select this edges, switch it, unfold it. Done. So if you study like this one, okay, done. So it should be like this. Okay. Now come back here. Shell. You clearly know this is the this section, and I want it flat because I want to put some texture. The same thing. This one. This is another surface. This looks fine, but I think this will flip it. Now here, we are losing some information here. Can you see this surface? This is a surface, okay? And now these are the other things. So drag and select this top edges, <coughs> move and sell. So when I'm stitching here, Just a moment. Can I say this one is this one edge? So it should be flipped. Once it is flipped, select this edges, stitch it. It's sorted. Now shell, shell. Okay. Now this is something here. Move it. You can select this edges. Move and see. Once again, shell. So it should be flipped. Move and save. Done. Now there is something missing here. So like this thing. Come here. I'm stitching only to the main. So can you see here this one? Stitch it. We get this problem. Shell. Move it here. If you select this edge, you can clearly see this is on the other side. So shell, flip it upside down. Now we go this shell, which is linked to this one inside, but we still have some of faces here. So we'll sort out that one. Now we know this one is linked to the front shell. Drag and select the shell. Now select this edges, move and stitch it. So I'm trying to place it.
there is still this one is there so you can place it here if you want you can put it here but i'm saving this space here now this is one so i'll put it back here so if i select these faces you will see how much is it now this surface i can stick select this edge or this edge can you see here move and save once again rotate it flip it okay now shell drag and select this space this is one thing so i can select this edge can i see this one this one okay see that stitch it now it says what i want like to do is that i'll just detach it here from here okay i'll cut it get it down the same thing i'll do it here this side okay cut it Now once it's done, you can select these edges, move and zoom. See if you see here, I'm getting this problem. So it's flipping. So just select this shell, up and down, stitch it, stitch it. Now this is done. I think we got one more shape here. This is done. This is small pieces there which you can stitch it to this four edges. Stitch it. And also the same thing. Can you see these faces? These are the two faces which you can select these two edges here. Stitch it. Okay. See here, this is another shell which is here, that's fine. Put it here now. Drag and select these edges. Okay, see, drag and select these edges, drag and deselect the other edges and cut it. Then you know this face shell is this one and these are all linked to this shell so try and select this edges move and save deselect other edges switch it i'm scaling it small so that it fits here does it fit here no it should be flipped select it Stitch it. So I'll just select this. You can see I'm just scaling it so that now drag and select this edges. Stitch it. Done. Now shell this is not that important. So I'll oh this is important one. Maybe I'll put some text or I'll I won't put some text. If I put text, I know where I to put the text. So I'll just put it here, shell, this goes here, this goes here. Now the whole, this is the whole shell of this part. So I'll just put back here. Now try to get it here. This is other UVs. Now try to lay it out properly. Let's 
so I'm trying to lay out the main ones first like this this one and this one now what I lose is shift and drag it so I'll select the other faces mesh files then shell put it side now drag it so now you will know the other empty spaces so you know these other shells which are linked to the front surface put it here you know these are linked to the mode here mode here this one is the one which is at the back this one is near I'm trying to use maximum space okay now this one don't leave it anything outside the layout and also try to understand this layout so this one is this one okay so you should be in a position to identify each object and relate to it so this will make you easy and comfortable when you are using photoshop to apply some textures and all this stuff so hope you understood this layout you will out it's a very lengthy lesson it will take some time but practice once you practice you will understand it once you understand you can go to the next level combine edit delete by stream so i merge it but still it's one layout but let's i'll show you some examples how to take it into photoshop so select this model with the layout everything is done clean history polygons uv snapshot here browse i'll just save it on desktop reference gun image name size should be 1024 or 2048 2048 2048 and this should be i'll go for jpeg okay now if i go to photoshop open desktop you can you see now your uv layout properly there let's take i want to put some text here so let's take this face and this face can you see these two faces so i clearly know Press. Sorry. So you know this is where I need to put text. So I'll put the gun. Ugh. I'm not good at Photoshop, man. I'll go for 36 size and then okay just to show you okay now I'll add one more layer I'll fill it with a little bit some darker color add it fill it okay and I'll save this as just showing us a reference in just I'll put gun color map. See, I'm using C O L O U R because I'm from. I'm using English. English English format. 
I'm not using UK uh, US format. Now right click and go to material. Click on the color. And here you see COLR. <laughs> yeah, it's developed by American Span. File, player, desktop, color. Oh, where is it? Why can't I see? Just press six. Yeah, it's there, but this is disturbing me. <laughs> you got it, no? I hope you understand. I'm just kidding. So, you can come back here. And also, I can use this layout on top of everything. And then decrease the intensity. So that I can see. Okay, then turn this off. Save as JPEG color S S. Come back to Maya material reload. Okay, so you can do a lot of stuff here. So for this one, if I come here. I'll use some this. Put a new layer. Okay, I'll just use some still more darker. Okay, and edit fill it. Control D, Control O to fit the view, file, save as JPEG. Come back here. Generally, you can click reload, but somehow I got some mental texture problem. So I use gun color. So can you see here? So you can start putting all the things wherever you want, whatever you want. So if you can understand your layout, so here I want to put some text. No, so everything is clear. This is like a reference for you guys. So hope you understood. Try to work it out. Once again, I'm telling you, it's it's just a start. It's a basic stuff. You'll gradually learn more, but practice it's a simple UV layout the more you understand the clear layout you'll start working on out because this is as you are you just started unwrapping it it will really better to understand how to unfold it rather than the procedures and the follow-ups and everything. first thing is you need to know how to unfold it you need to know what object if it's like this surface I went for planar this went I went for automatic mapping and the other thing which is like this back one I went for cylindrical mapping so these are the things which you need to understand what is the best option when you're unwrapping and then gradually with experience with practice you will know more okay guys thank you and bye